This is Joe at Rigsby Technology Editor for uh, Near Shore Americas. I'm here with Steve Roddenham, uh, VP of Client Engagement in the Americas uh, for uh, Cap Gemini. Yep. Um, so, what do you feel are some of the most favorable attributes that make up a good nearshore location? What are the key things that technology leaders should be looking for? I think really having the, the right talent on the mm -hmm. ground is okay. first and foremost. So, you've got to have a good talent pool mm -hmm. ready, available um, to work and available to train as well. So, mm -hmm. good university system. Um, coming through, get the governments that are supporting them, both with language mm -hmm. and product um, services as well. Mm -hmm. So really it's, it's down to, have you got the right people uh, that can speak English if it's for, for the US market, mm -hmm. um, or a good pool with good product offering for the rest of Latin America. Okay. Um, so one other thing, there seems to be a per perception um, that Latin America is a volatile market, which yep. is interesting because India, Pakistan, there seems to be more volati volatility um, in reality in that area of the world. Um, why do you think that people have that perception? I think a lot of it is, is through media, mm -hmm. the media coverage, and people remember what was going on. They quote things of like 10, 15 years ago. <laughs> so things like Nicaragua, mm -hmm. Colombia, uh, the kidnappings, the mm -hmm. crime, that kind of thing. But if you look at you know, Bogota now, Mm -hmm. safer than going to Washington or mm -hmm. a Miami or an Atlanta, those kind of mm -hmm. places. So people's perceptions have been driven from you know, what they've seen in the media, I think, in the past. Mm -hmm. And there hasn't been any you know, proactive media since then to say, no, you're actually wrong. Mm -hmm. Kidnappings are down by 98% mm -hmm. in, in the center of Bogota, mm -hmm. those kind of stats. So that's what I think we need to do a much better job of is, is getting that proactive media out there. Mm -hmm. And there was a great article um, a couple of weeks ago in New York Times mm -hmm. around it's now a safe place to go on vacation mm -hmm. and people are opening that and reading it and seeing that it is a, a good place to go so it's down to people's perceptions that they've they've held on to for for several years I believe. Okay. Um, so how important do you feel it is for, um, for uh, companies that are considering leveraging a nearshore firm to actually be on the ground given all the technology options that are available now such as web conferencing um, virtual environment, so you think that it really adds a lot for them to be on the ground in the environment? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's critical to get on the ground. Um, and is that a two-way thing? Does the vendor need to come here and the uh, purchaser need to go there? I think for Nearshore, there's a lot of people within the teams uh -huh. from the vendor side that have actually been to the U.S. Uh -huh. um, I think it's important once you go down a, a certain path, there's a certain point where absolutely you need to get on the ground with the client at mm -hmm. the client's operation and understand what his operations are. Mm -hmm. But I I think for clients going down to see the, the providers, it's critical to go down and see more than a conference room. Mm -hmm. So a video conference will give you, it'll show you the people, mm -hmm. and it'll show you their attributes and their competency, which is great, but what's making them feel better and real, feel safer about putting their operations down there is getting out and seeing um, the environment they're in, mm -hmm. from the, the airport, through to the hotels, through to the infrastructure, what people actually grow up and live in. Mm -hmm. They need to see the whole you know, end-to-end -end gambit, not just a conference room mm -hmm. with some smiley faces. Mm -hmm. They want to be able to go out on the floor because, you know, in a video conference, you can bring your top 10 people in, mm -hmm. okay? And then you may get a, you know, a different perception than 200 people that you can go out on the floor and pick and choose who you want to talk to, totally at random. So for me, it's absolutely critical that you get out there um, and just take in the, the whole culture and environment. So um, since you feel that talent is one of the most important attributes um, in, in terms of selecting a nearshore location, um, even if they have talent, how do you feel that the attrition rates um, in the Latin American countries impacts that? Is it, is, do you feel that it's high or low or does it depend on the country? Or? It, it's one of those where attrition rates depend on the country, uh -huh. they depend on the company, and they're mm -hmm. going to depend on the process mm -hmm. as well. So depending on if you have um, straight contact center work, mm -hmm. you often see a little bit higher attrition versus if you've got finance and accounting mm -hmm. processes uh, where people see more of a career path. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to encourage and that's really what you know, this event has been ab about mm -hmm. is encouraging more of the investment on offering different products, more value add, mm -hmm. and you'll see the attrition drive down. If people can see a career path, that's the, that's the critically important thing to them.